Good evening everyone, welcome again to my kitchen. This is a wonderful day outside with the new spring colors and whatnot. But I wanted to add some colors to my kitchen too and to my recipes. So there you go, you can see the whole arrangement that with all the spring decorations and all of that. And I want my recipes to be springy too today. So we are making Palak pepper prathas today. And this is a kind of a new innovative recipe because you normally hear like a Palak roti or Palak pratha or you hear like a pepper pratha. So we have combined this and it has come really really well and our guests love it especially my children they really love it and my family it's one of their all-time favorites i have the privilege to share this with you tonight and let's see the ingredients let's get started i have the freshly chopped spinach and over here this is a assorted uh, bell peppers over here you have the red bell pepper orange and yellow bell pepper it has a beautiful spring color to it and this is my homemade curry masala powder and red chili powder. If you don't know how to make your curry masala powder, definitely tune in for the recipes and you can go and look under the playlist for masala powders and you will see the curry masala powder and homemade is always the best, right? And over here I have the Celtic salt and this is the most important ingredient to make our prathas. This is the gluten-free base flour. And I have always stored it into this. I call this a GF flour and then I took a little bit uh, when I need it. And I don't mix it uh, by the instant because it wastes a lot of my time. So I just do it ahead of time. But what it has over here is one cup of sorghum flour, one cup of amaranth flour and three fourth cup of tapioca flour. We did not add any gum uh, over here. So it's just uh, the flour. I have warm water and let's get started. And I have olive oil over here as well. I have taken the salt for both our stuffing and for the prata, so I'm just going to add a little bit of that. Okay, my flour is uh, very well sieved, so if you have not done that, you have just gotten from the store, you need a sieve and then sieve it, just so there is no lumps in the flour. And I'm just mixing the salt and the flour pretty much. And I'm just going to add my warm water over here. You have to be very slow when you add the water, we don't want it to be too soggy. This has been a great substitute for wheat flour for those of you who are gluten free and who can touch wheat. And it is good for diabetics as well, you know, as wheat has a lot of sugar in it, uh, the glycemic index. And I'm going to use my uh, hand. Okay, my dough is ready. Look, it's uh, non sticky. And I'm still going to add some oil and uh, let it sit for like uh, 20 minutes before I start kneading the dough. Over here. Just give it like a little base uh, so it doesn't dry up soon but we do want to observe the moisture so that's why we're going to put a serine wrap on top or we can even do a parchment paper like this on top and uh, just cover it a little bit and I'll be back. Alright while we are waiting for the dough to get ready with uh, observing the moisture and all of that for 20 minutes let's look at our stuffing this is going to be a great stuffing but uh, you can also add it raw but I like to uh, cook it a little bit and then add it so that way it is completely cooked and it is not half cooked and as you know any food that is half cooked is not healthy either it has to be raw or it has to be cooked so the half cooked idea may not uh, sit well with this recipe. So let's see what we can do here and I have this freshly chopped uh, spinach and like I showed our bell pepper and our masala powders with, along with uh, the red chili and the oil is the olive oil. My pan is ready, I'm just going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of oil and I'm just going to add my peppers first. It gives you that uh, spicy feeling. And then of course we are going to add chili powder but if you want extra spice you can always add green chilies, chopped green chilies to it and add some cilantro or parsley just for garnishing as well. But since we are using spinach there's going to be too much greens in there and if it doesn't blend well it's not going to work well with this recipe. So this is what I am going to do and I am just going to saute it a little bit. Okay it is very well cooked and if you can look at it it's so glassy and nice. We can add in the uh, spinach. Now when we add spinach, if you are new to the spinach cooking idea, it is going to become very very uh, small quantity because uh, this is going to shrink so, as you can see. We want it to shrink so it's easy to do our stuffing here and the pratas are finally done. There you go. And as you know spinach has its own uh, vitamins and many nutritional benefits. While it's still cooking, I'm just going to add my spices. 
thing with a little bit of salt. We just wanted to put only half portion of the salt because uh, then with that paratha it's going to get too salty. I'm going to wash out for that. I'm going to turn it into medium heat. for one of our guests and uh, who has anemia and uh, the spinach is high in iron content and the bell peppers are good for your circulatory system as well. So she's going to love it and this is not just like any meal we are making in our kitchen. Every day we make healthy meals. Every vegetable has a reason and every fruit has a reason why we make it and we are going to combine everything in our recipes and we are giving them not only a healthy meal but something for your good energy as well. So that is why this uh, channel is very uh, special because it is not just about teaching somebody to cook because as you know every recipe is out there and it's very easy to make all these recipes sometimes but making with a gluten free, soy free, nut free or even uh, vegan recipes are sometimes tricky but uh, apart from all of that we are just teaching how to cook and why you have to eat what you are eating. So be cautious of uh, your food is a very important idea. Ready? I'm just going to turn off and let it cool down a little bit. So this is how it's supposed to be. Right here. Okay, my vegetables have been sorted and they have been cooling down for like 15 minutes. They are very well cooled. I just wanted to mash them with my hand powder over here. Just to make sure that they are a good paste for us to keep it in our paratha and roll it. Makes it easier that way. If it is just spinach, we don't have to do the mashing here into the paste. But since we added some beautiful peppers, we need to do that. And then it's very easy. Just go like that. Uh, hand pound, do not use any kind of a grinding in this one because it's going to lose its flavor. So just mash it a little bit. And it's very easy as they are very well cooked. So it's not going to be hard. You can also put some phenol seeds while you are mashing it if you want that kind of aroma. It is really healthy for your digestive tract as well. Okay, so uh, we wanted to remove the uh, moisture out from this one also. So I'm just going to do like a crush in my spoon and then get the juice out and then take only the pulp over here. You can also use your hand if you are comfortable that way to squeeze it out. And here we go. Our stuffing is ready and I'm just going to see how we can roll it. And let's take on our dough. Oh, it has absorbed all the oil. There's only a little bit left. And um, when you saw the first time, it was a lot of oil. So this is good. Let me hold my parchment paper and I'm just going to roll it. And make uh, balls. And then we start making our prata. I have grieved it up. Okay, I have one on top. Nice. Gotta to make sure you roll it in circular motion. Okay, I have rolled it in but I am not happy with the shape so I am just going to go ahead and uh, use this. Uh, press it down and there you go. Okay, there you go. And now we are going to paste it in. You want to make sure you don't put too much because it will be hard to work with. We just uh, paste it a little bit. And I never do towards the corner. It's just a little bit here and there. Mm. Let's do one more. Here's the wash pan paper on top. Okay, circular motion. Okay, now I'm going to scissor it. Okay, here's 
here we go. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to paste it on top like that. And make sure. And then now we're going to smudge on the edges. Very simple. And then I'm just going to give it a little bit of that. Never put a lot of pressure in the middle when, while you're rolling it. Uh, you don't want it to break. And there you go. It's ready. And let's see how we can uh, transfer it into my tawa. My tawa is really hot right now. And I, I have made one more extra. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you. And the first thing is grease your tawa. And then I have put it in. And you can also use your hand to smudge it in. But not too much. So you can see the stuffing coming out a little bit. So we just have to play it safe. And I'm just going to put it in. Then I'm greasing it on top very slowly. It's because uh, it makes it interesting to eat, uh, you know, the for like the big bear, medium bear, and a small bear. So everybody in the family can have their own uh, piece. Smells so good! I can't wait to eat this, guys. Hope you guys like it and it is so easy to make. It's just like less than 20 minutes other than the absorption time that uh, so easy. You can make it for breakfast too and uh, this adds in a great lunch as well. You can just pack it in the lunch box and you don't even need to add any subjis to it because it has all the vegetables in there and you know the spinach is very good for the iron content as well, especially for little children. I would let it cook for like 20 to 30 seconds and then flip it over. Okay, my grata is done. As you can see, I'm just going to put it here and I'm just going to put this on top. This is the bite size. I just for appetizer or for little children. And here is a sabji that we made. This is the eggplant tomato curry. And it adds a great addition to our masala prata. But I like it to eat it just like that because it has spinach and the pepper and all of that along with our uh, sabji or just eat it plain. So if you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel and definitely write your questions and queries under the YouTube comment and let me know how your family likes it. And if you have any other recipes or requests that you want me to make in my kitchen to your kitchen, please do. Alright, as I always say, food is medicine. Stay healthy and live happily ever after.